Compassion. Richard Davidson told us that people who do a specific form of meditation on compassion and loving kindness can increase their happiness levels to a greater extent and for longer periods of time, even than people taking powerful antidepressant medications. There are specific meditation practices uh, that have been around for more than 2,500 years, which are explicitly designed to cultivate qualities like compassion and loving kindness. The person we've tested the most in our lab is a person by the name of Matthew Ricard. He has been a Tibetan Buddhist monk for uh, more than 30 years. Uh, he also holds a PhD in molecular biology. And um, we have looked intensively at Matthew's brain, both at rest as well as when he is intentionally generating these states of compassion. So there's no obvious change in external behavior. You know, he's just sitting there. And then we give him the instruction to begin the compassion meditation. And all of a sudden, it's like, you know, parts of the brain are on fire. These are areas of the brain which are extremely important uh, for understanding happiness and well-being. And so we are, for example, currently doing studies where we are having people who've never meditated before, and we're having them do very simple exercises, two weeks of training in this simple compassion practice does change the brain in ways which are similar to, although not nearly as well-defined, as what we see in very long-term meditation practitioners. There is some evidence to indicate that we actually change the gross structure of the brain, literally the size um, of particular cortical areas in the brain change in their thickness. We, through intention, can change our brain.